What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, today's project, we are painting Ashley's spare valve cover that we got from the junkyard up at Cookstown. Her current one, which is a purple one, has a slight crack to it, so it is seeping some oil and uh, over time it's just going to get worse. So I've already gone ahead and started sanding and prepping everything. I just got to clean it now with acetone and uh, start masking off everything I need to mask off before I dab it with some VH, uh, yeah, VHT um, wrinkle black paint. I think it's going to be a nice little number, something subtle. That way I can just focus on like little purple accents in the engine bay instead of having too much purple going on. And uh, yeah, I'm... Let's uh, get to it. So I went ahead and sanded everything down with 80 grit paper, uh, sandpaper. I guess there's really no difference which one you really use. It just says you gotta have the surface scuffed and uh, cleaned in order to uh, have the wrinkle effect work properly. So uh, right now I'm gonna grab some acetone that I got at the local Canadian Tire and uh, I'm just gonna go over, over everything I've sanded. And uh, hopefully uh, we have a good turnout once it's all clean and uh, ready to go. As you can see, all this dirt is coming out nicely with the acetone. You know, don't be shy on on the acetone. Use as much as you have to. Make sure all the grease and everything, which. I sprayed beforehand with the uh, super clean, I don't know if you guys can see that well, but super clean uh, degreaser. This thing worked amazing, it had so much gunk and I was actually able to uh, remove all of it and just give it a quick wipe down and then rinse it with, uh, with the hose. So now just going over everything with the acetone and uh, let's hope this thing turns out good. Hey guys, she's uh, engine base started looking like a show car. Also guys, don't forget, it's very important to have proper handwear. Make sure you always got gloves. You know, it may not feel like it does anything uh, bad to your skin, but you know, you gotta always worry about the safety and long-term effects of what chemicals it can actually do to you. So make sure you guys always wear proper handwear and uh, eyewear and all that. Me, you know, I just like wearing sunglasses in general. So yeah. So there we have it guys, it's uh, all wiped down and uh, ready to be masked. I'm probably going to give it one more wipe down just to be on the safe side and uh, mask it up and then uh, I get a video of uh, us spraying the wrinkle black. Alright guys, so I've cleaned up everything, masked everything up and we're ready for paint. As you can see, I have everything done. All these on other D-series and B-series and K-series, they usually come like a 
uh, silver polished. But on these D-Series, they come colored to the valve cover, so I didn't bother masking them. The one with the oil filler, I will sand it back to silver once uh, it all dries up. So, let's get to it. So it says for it to wait five minutes, uh, let it dry a little bit, and then change it to a horizontal uh, spray, and then wait another five minutes, and then do a diagonal. So let's wait five minutes. visit from mr. Kevin What's up? he just came from work uh, we finished painting well I finished painting Kevin just showed up just to help me with the heater didn't have a heat gun which probably would have made it easier but I did use two heaters it's really hot in this shack it came out freaking phenomenal so it says to let it cure for 24 hours that's what I'm gonna do it definitely wrinkled like I said, all these ports over here, they already come painted from factory, so it's not like all the other D-series valve covers or B-series or Ks. Uh, so I try to keep it true to the way it came. Uh, we did the whole wrinkle black. Man, this thing came out amazing. I can't wait to take off all the masking and all that. Put the other coil pack cover, swap it out. The car should be going down to Mercer's about a week or so. We are going to be doing the whole rad oil cooler setup and everything. And... I need a, like I said, I need a new valve cover because Ashley's is leaking and it needs a valve cover gasket regardless. So we had this one lying around that we took from Cookstown and I couldn't be any more happier. This thing is going to look super dope. We're going to degrease the whole engine bay and all that and uh, keep Project Mugen EL going. Guys, I let it dry. It cured. 
I pulled off all the masking off of it. This thing has come out so amazing. I am really happy with the outcome. This thing is going to look super fresh once it's on the motor. And everything's all cleaned up with all the coil pack and all everything back together. <clears throat> Sorry, I had a little hiccup with that. And I also finished the coil pack cover. The other one is uh, painted silver with the purple lettering saying Honda VTEC. I figured since I'm doing the Rinko black valve cover, I'd put the original one from the EL motor. Uh, and I painted the Acro symbol purple. Give it just a nice a little touch, you know. But uh, that's it for that. So that does it uh, for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget smash the like button leave a comment and most importantly please don't forget to subscribe peace